What's up guys, so in this video let's talk about something that's both related to my country, Switzerland, and also Apple. So Swiss Railways are suing Apple for copying their clock design. Let's start. So with the release of iOS 6, Apple has added new functionality to the iPad, uh, including the Clocks app, that new app which uh, you can now set the alarms in and also check the time and all of the time zones in the world. So let's check how the clocks look in this um, application. So this is how they look. Did you memorize the design that I just showed you of these clocks in this application? Well, let's take it even further. The Swiss Railway Federal Service, the SBB, are accusing Apple in copying their clock design. They have been using this design for a long time now, and this design is basically how all the clocks on almost all train stations in Switzerland look like. So let's take a look at how they actually look like. Well, doesn't it remind you of anything? Of course, and it shouldn't even remind me because it is the same absolute design that you can see in this new iPads application clocks in which you can set your alarms now and even see the different time zones and uh, different cities and stuff like that and times. So this concept was designed by Hans Hilfiger in 1944 and this is basically the iconic clock of Switzerland because this is what kind of clock you see in all the train stations and uh, all around the cities and stuff like that so that's a very famous design really means a lot for Switzerland. And so here's a clip that I took yesterday as I was going home and as you can see even the small train stations have that iconic clock hung there just on the uh, above that box where I can sit and wait for your train. So as you can see it really means a lot and um, it's basically everywhere in Switzerland that kind of design. An SVB spokesman told that he was very pleased that Apple are using the design but he said that they are not authorized to do so. So a legal complaint is being drafted as a result. But not only SVB are planning to sue Apple but also a company which is called the Mondain Group in Switzerland which actually uses their design, they're licensing it and making what small watches uh, with the same design. So they're actually paying money for using that. Fair is fair, says Gizmodo, a very famous tech blog. Apple just won a billion dollars from Samsung for exactly this kind of copying. Now it'll be up to Apple to pay up. Reporters were redirected from Apple Switzerland, who refused to comment uh, the happening, to the official US headquarters. But Apple hasn't commented about this copyright infringement situation just yet. So just to wrap it up for you guys, I hope that Switzerland and Apple don't mess their relation, their good relationship and hopefully all the Apple products will still be, uh, you know, being supplied to Switzerland because, you know, it's a very uh, developed country and they're of course ready to use their Apple devices uh, here. In fact, I think Switzerland is the number one country uh, with the percentage of using Macs against the PCs. And so hopefully all that situation will end up well, otherwise I will not be able to get any Apple products here in Switzerland or, you know, they won't be um, coming out here and released in the first wave of rollouts as it is with the iPads. The iPhones are just almost there, they're in the second wave of rollouts, but hopefully next time they make a new iPhone it's going to be in the first wave. So I just wanted to, you know, uh, throw this out there, guys, for you, uh, because I think this news is pretty interesting, and it's both uh, about Apple and also about my country. And by the way, if you want to know more about life in Switzerland and how I live in Switzerland, and more about me and my personality and stuff like that, if you don't, do, if you want to know more about me, um, then you can just check out my vlog channel. I'll post, uh, you know, the link here. You can click on the annotation, and it'll, it'll bring up. Uh, your, my vlog channel for you guys where I post my weekly life videos every Friday, Saturday, something between that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, check the description for social links and also some interesting articles which basically complete uh, this video. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button for more tech news and tech reviews and tech videos and top apps or whatever videos I make and I make them each Saturday. And also please don't forget to click the like button right here because it really helps other people know that this video is real good and interesting. And I'll see you guys um, in a few days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on next Saturday. Peace.